Good morning, everyone. Uh, you are watching a live daily market outlook uh, for uh, Thursday, 10th of uh, January 2013, prepared by Windsor Brokers. Uh, important day today uh, with the central banks of uh, UK and uh, Europe uh, announcing their uh, uh, rate uh, policies uh, with the highlights of the overnight uh, session uh, showing the China's uh, data that released earlier uh, during the Asian uh, session uh, came in uh, much better than expected and uh, pushed the risky assets uh, higher. Exports uh, pick up, picked up more, uh, more than expected while uh, Chinese uh, trade uh, surplus uh, jumped to $31.6 billion compared to $20.1 billion forecasted and $19.6 billion of the uh, third quarter uh, showing that uh, China's economy is uh, uh, picking up uh, the pace. As uh, said, the risky assets uh, were pushed higher as well as uh, dollar uh, with the commodities benefiting uh, crude oil is uh, up to close to its uh, recent uh, highs uh, pushed by uh, positive uh, Chinese data. As we said, the export uh, growth rebounded surprisingly uh, sharply in December to a seven-month high in a strong uh, finish uh, to the year for economy that had slowed for uh, seven quarters uh, in a row. But uh, the spike uh, might not uh, herald an enduring uh, recovery as global uh, demand uh, stays uh, uh, subdued. Uh, China, China's export uh, growth rebounded uh, uh, to seven month uh, high and supports expectations of a pickup uh, in the growth after uh, quarters uh, that we set uh, registered in past uh, seven uh, quarters, uh, the, the slowdown registered in past uh, seven quarters. Uh, but uh, again, uh, quite gloomy situation uh, within the world uh, economies is still uh, uh, putting the pressure. The China's exports group 14.1% uh, last month compared with a year earlier, uh, racing past the forecasts uh, and uh, who had expected the annual growth of uh, only 4%. Uh, percent. Uh, the China surplus, as we said, uh, jumped to 31.6 billion compared to 20.1 billion. Another uh, important uh, and significant uh, thing during the Asian session was the uh, rally of the a dollar against the Japanese yen as it uh, found the base at 86.80 and they uh, pushed uh, higher through 88 uh, barrier now uh, looking for full retracement of the recent uh, corrective action as uh, yen remains on defensive and they uh, comes close again to the two and a half uh, year low against the US dollar with expectations of uh, the Bank of Japan uh, uh, that uh, will take uh, fresh measures to boost the economy uh, with the action uh, the, with the meeting of the uh, Bank of uh, Japan uh, scheduled for the, 21, the 21st and 22nd uh, January uh, their policy, regular uh, policy uh, meeting. Uh, as said, uh, the Aussie dollar was also uh, jumped, uh, was significantly higher against the uh, uh, Japanese uh, yen, uh, hitting a fresh highs last, uh, last time seen in uh, 2008. As uh, we said, the price uh, action uh, uh, on the Japanese yen could become increasingly volatile as the Bank of Japan's uh, uh, meeting uh, uh, nears and the expectations uh, for a target, uh, inflation target uh, for a Japanese uh, Bank of Japan are seen approximately below 2% uh, for the coming uh, year. The, the bank is ex widely expected uh, the, to call for adopting a 2% inflation target uh, uh, with uh, also the expectations that uh, the uh, Prime Minister Abe will, uh, uh, would push the Bank of Japan to adopt uh, more forceful monetary stimulus measures uh, uh, that have uh, driven uh, yen sharply lower in recent months and boosted the, the dollar by nearly 12% 12, uh, 12 against the uh, Japanese currently since uh, early uh, November. The yen, the yen, according to an analyst, is uh, quite, uh, the weakness is quite extended and the uh, possibility of uh, corrective, uh, stronger corrective action are not uh, ruled out at this point, especially that uh, uh, Bank of Japan's uh, meeting uh, nears. Uh, meantime, uh, we have uh, today's uh, meeting with the uh, 
uh, European uh, release of European Central Bank and Bank of England uh, meeting. The European Central Bank is uh, widely expected to keep interest rates at a record low of 0.75 percent on today's meeting. Uh, refraining from a cut as the Eurozone economy shows uh, some signs of uh, uh, stabilizing and inflation still uh, uh, tops its uh, target. The Eurozone is in recession, but uh, recent data point uh, to some stabilization and uh, most likely uh, ECB President Mario Draghi could strike a slightly more uh, a positive uh, tone in the news conference that uh, follows the rate decision uh, later uh, today. The 23-man governing council will find some uh, comfort uh, from improving business morale as uh, well as a survey of purchasing uh, managers which gave tentative uh, signs that the worst of the downturn might have uh, uh, passed. Uh, while the SECB had uh, in Draghi's world a wide uh, discussion on the reducing rates uh, last month, the grounds for such a move uh, have not uh, grown and the executive uh, board members have argued against the cut. Probability of uh, uh, some uh, great cut action uh, is not ruled out in uh, some of the next uh, meetings, but uh, according to today's uh, uh, comments from the number of analysts, uh, uh, most likely the ECB will hold fire on the, today's uh, meeting. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, today's calendar also to see the releases and the, uh, those that are due to come. As we said, the uh, Chinese uh, uh, surplus uh, trade balance came at 31.6 compared to 19.7. Japanese uh, leading indicator for November came at uh, and 91.9 percent compared to lower than the 92.8 in the October and the forecast at 93.1 while the French data are mixed industrial production showed the growth of 0.5 percent compared to 0.3 percent forecast and the minus 0.7 percent in the previous release while the inflation dipped to 0.3 percent in December compared to 0.4% uh, uh, forecast, but uh, it's again uh, up from minus 0.2% in the uh, month of uh, November. Uh, data from uh, UK are due at 12 o'clock bank decision, uh, official bank rate uh, expectations to keep the rate unchanged at 0.5% uh, with the asset purchase uh, facility also uh, expected to stay unchanged at 375 billion uh, British pounds. And uh, at 12.45 GMT is the ECB uh, release. Again, uh, wide expectations are that uh, the bank will hold fire and stay at uh, 0.75, its lowest uh, uh, rate uh, so far. And the press conference is due at uh, usual time at 13.30 uh, GMT. And uh, we're going to focus the uh, Mario Draghi's uh, comments uh, today with some expectations, of course, for some uh, more positive tone seen as we said uh, uh, previously that some uh, more positive uh, data are uh, giving initial uh, signals of uh, uh, possibility that uh, the worst uh, is already behind us. U.S. Uh, jobless claims weekly release is due at the same time, 1330. 361,000 uh, uh, 361, is today's uh, forecast below the last week's 372,000. Uh, uh, new home price index uh, from Canada uh, November release is expected to stay unchanged at 0.2%. Uh, while well, Canadian uh, building permits uh, are expected to significantly drop uh, to by 2.2 percent, to pardon 2.4 percent, if I'm not mistaken, compared to 15 percent increase in the uh, month of October. These uh, all these indicators are due at 1330, uh, and then the wholesale inventories uh, from uh, US due at uh, uh, 1500. Uh, uh, GMT uh, for sale inventories, November release, 0.2% uh, forecast, 0.6% uh, 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 previous uh, release. And uh, that uh, could be basically uh, all from the significant uh, releases. Uh, later in the evening, we have the Japanese uh, current account that is uh, uh, showing a contraction of the uh, trade surplus, uh, 2.31 trillion uh, Japanese yen compared to uh, October's uh, 0.41 trillion Japanese yen uh, surplus and that's uh, uh, basically all from today's calendar. Quite a busy day regarding economic indicators as the most important uh, uh, releases are seen uh, today from the uh, two central banks, uh, UK and the Eurozone and the main focus of course in the markets uh, stays at uh, these releases. Uh, they are due at uh, 12 o'clock and uh, 12.45 uh, GMT respectively start, uh, starts with the 
Bank of England and continues with the European uh, Central uh, Bank. Uh, we're going to take a look at the technicals and see the latest uh, movements of the currencies and the commodities. Uh, I would say rather quiet uh, uh, situation in the markets uh, as most of the investors are awaiting uh, <clears throat> pardon, the decision of uh, uh, European and the U uh, UK Central uh, Bank with the Euro staying under pressure in the near term. Basically, we are still in the uh, sort of uh, uh, consolidation and the range uh, movements. I would say rather consolidation of the following the recent uh, fall to 130.00 strong uh, psychological uh, uh, support with bounce higher being uh, limited uh, at 130.138 and then subsequent uh, uh, easing uh, dipped uh, uh, as low as 130.35. This is the low of yesterday and overnight that is offering uh, temporary support. But uh, generally the uh, near-term structure is still aligned uh, towards the downside, as we can see most of indicators are uh, uh, pointing uh, still uh, lower. Uh, MACD is uh, below the uh, midline and the lack of uh, any stronger uh, bullish momentum uh, sees the, the upside the limited. For now, 131 is the initial uh, uh, barrier previous highs of uh, yesterday and only break above here would provide a near-term relief and uh, probably uh, refocus uh, recent high at uh, 131. Uh, uh, 38. This is the high of uh, last uh, uh, of uh, what is today? Thursday of Tuesday, 8th of uh, uh, January 2012, uh, with the retracement uh, levels of the latest uh, down leg from uh, one. Uh, uh, pardon, from 130, uh, from 133.00 down to. Uh, 129.96 are seen, uh, 30, 130, about 131 we have immediate 38.2% uh, and then we have the static barrier 131.38. Uh, uh, any break above 131 is uh, to reattract 131.38, uh, uh, however uh, more significant barriers lie at 131.50 uh, uh, that marks approximately 50% retracement and then we have the previous uh, range floor at 131.60. Uh, I would say at this point, according to the negative uh, uh, structure seen on uh, both uh, lower time frame studies, one and four hour, uh, more focus is still seen towards the downside and the uh, 130 strong support uh, remains uh, vulnerable for now, especially we can see it on the four hour chart where the descending uh, uh, 55 days uh, exponential moving average maintains the negative tone since uh, a second of uh, January. Uh, while the 20 days exponential moving average currently at 130.73 now uh, limits immediate uh, action higher break above uh, I would say 131 and then uh, uh, 131.38 is to provide the uh, relief and uh, look for pro possible uh, further corrective action of uh, 130.00 however negative tone as we said uh, dominates uh, still sees the downside vulnerable with the loss of initial support at 130.35 opens uh, a minor one at approximately 130. Uh, 20 zone ahead of uh, more significant uh, uh, 130 uh, 0, 0, and then uh, 129 80 76 uh, point, uh, four percent uh, retracement level that remain our immediate uh, downside uh, targets as long as we are capped by 131 uh, 0, 0. of course uh, uh, more action uh, will be seen after the release of uh, the European uh, Central Bank uh, decision especially after the uh, comments from uh, Mario Draghi and uh, this will be covered in our afternoon uh, uh, market uh, outlook that will come after the decision, after the announce of the, uh, the after the release of the data pardon and the comments from uh, central bank uh, mayors and uh, uh, president and of course uh, after market uh, digests its uh, comments. Uh, British pound uh, stays under pressure in the past uh, a few sessions following a corrective action uh, rejection at uh, 161.26 uh, at 161.26 I think it's better seen on the hourly chart uh, two days ago and then uh, subsequent uh, slide lower accelerating yesterday on the upside rejection at uh, 160.74 failure to regain 161.00 retested the uh, 160 uh, support basically 159.91 was uh, uh, level was tested and this marks also the uh, daily Fibonacci, uh, daily Chimoku cloud uh, uh, base that so far contained the uh, dips but uh, not much on the upside to be expected as uh, negative uh, uh, tone dominates on the one and four hour studies and especially a lack of uh, any momentum uh, for some stronger action keeps the downside vulnerable. We might see some uh, thin uh, 
and narrow range uh, trading ahead of uh, Bank of England's uh, decision uh, uh, today and the Bank of uh, European Central Bank, of course, uh, with uh, more prospects seen uh, towards the downside at this point, and of course, break below very significant and strong uh, 160 support uh, uh, could be a trigger for some uh, uh, stronger uh, movements uh, towards uh, the downside. Uh, then uh, we might be uh, we might op uh, it might open the next downside target 159.60 zone approximately is the low of. Uh, uh, 28th of uh, November, as well as 76.4% uh, Fibonacci retracement of the rally from 158.26 to 163.80, and then uh, this is also reinforced by the 30 days uh, uh, lower Bollinger uh, band on the daily chart, uh, quite uh, strong support uh, below which uh, uh, will open uh, 200 days uh, moving average at uh, 159.00, also uh, psychological uh, support. As said. Uh, a near-term uh, structure is still uh, negative and aligned uh, towards the downside as uh, the pairs uh, bounce of uh, yesterday's low at 159.91 did not produce uh, any stronger action. 160.31 uh, seen only where the 20 days uh, moving average uh, cap the upside, uh, uh, seeing again uh, more pressure towards uh, at uh, 160.00 and probably a break below this uh, level will be quite a likely scenario in the near term. Uh, on the upside, as we said, in initial uh, resistance. Uh, uh, 160.31, this was also yesterday's uh, uh, high and the, or this uh, morning's uh, uh, tick higher that uh, limited any gains uh, so far. Uh, ahead of uh, dynamic barrier 160.40, descending 55 days uh, exponential moving average on the hourly chart and the 60.74 yesterday's high. Only break above uh, 161 and 161.26 would provide the uh, a relief and uh, look for a, a possible stronger corrective action. However, uh, not <coughs> pardon, not much to be expected according to the uh, quite negative uh, technical set at this point, uh, uh, with the downside seen uh, more vulnerable uh, currently. And uh, as long as uh, 161, 161, 26 keeps the downside uh, part keeps the upside uh, protected, and the. Uh, Dollar yen uh, returns uh, back to strength after finding a base at 86.81. This was a low of uh, yesterday. Strong rally through some important uh, uh, supports 87.55, 87, 87.85, and 88.00. So far reached 88.29, just ahead of a previous uh, uh, fresh two and a half years high at 88.40. Posted the last uh, Friday with the bulls now coming uh, fully in play. Uh, in looking for a possible full retracement of the uh, corrective uh, 88, 40, 86, 81 action. Uh, for our indicators, uh, are show, uh, for our chart uh, shows that uh, 20 days exponential moving average currently at 87.70 underpins the uh, current action as MACD points uh, higher and the uh, momentum and the RSI are above uh, their uh, uh, seven days uh, moving averages, uh, though the a lack of momentum is again evident on the four-hour chart. I think this similar situation. No, it's uh, much uh, more positive the hourly, but uh, hourlies are now in the overbought territory, and some uh, corrective easing uh, uh, could be seen uh, preceding uh, a fresh rally. 88.00 is initial support as round figure, and then uh, 88, 87, uh, 85 previous uh, highs of uh, uh, seven, and eight of. Uh, uh, January 2013 and the Fibonacci uh, levels, I do apologize, uh, Fibonacci levels of the latest uh, rally from 86.81 to 88.29 so far as we said approximately 23.6 percent is uh, uh, near 88.00 uh, reinforced by ascending the 20 days exponential moving average, uh, more significant 87.85 and 87.70 we have the uh, intraday high of uh, yesterday and the 38.2 percent retracement reinforced by 55 days uh, exponential moving average that is seen as ideal uh, reversal point in case of any uh, deeper dips. Uh, however, uh, according to the current uh, uh, technical uh, structure, the upside remains still in focus and the uh, main focus is at the immediate focus is at 88.40 hour initial uh, target uh, that might open uh, next uh, stage and next upside target at 89.00 also around the uh, figure resistance uh, daily structure. Uh, holds positive tone, but extremely overbought uh, conditions. Again, uh, might see some uh, corrective action. Though the stochastic is uh, moving uh, lower, did not produce uh, 
uh, much of the correction that uh, found the ground at 86.80 and most of indicators are again uh, uh, pointing higher that sees uh, potential uh, she sees room and potential for a, a further stretch and the possible uh, test of next uh, target at 89.00 and finally from currencies uh, dollar Swiss uh, uh, remains the corrective action of uh, 92 where is the uh, where we have the basing attempt uh, uh, failed uh, to regain initial uh, barrier at uh, 92.85 this is the high of uh, uh, 7th of uh, January 2013 as yesterday's uh, rally uh, so this is approximately also close to 76.4 percent retracement of the corrective uh, pullback from uh, 93.02 to 90 uh, 203 uh, with yesterday's action being uh, capped so far at 92.72 and further congestion uh, uh, seen now testing uh, the initial uh, support at 92.40 this is uh, uh, yesterday's intraday low and yesterday's low at 92.30 uh, this is also 38.2% uh, percent uh, retracement. basically if we see the break below 92.30 uh, 4030 then uh, uh, more focus will be turned again towards uh, 9200 base uh, rather positive tone but again lack of momentum seen on the hourly chart uh, while uh, a four hour structure seems to be gaining a, a pace uh, though they're still uh, lacking a, a strength to clear uh, 93 9285 as our initial uh, barrier this is also reinforced uh, by uh, four hour uh, 20 days supper uh, Bollinger uh, band as the bands are uh, narrowing now uh, most likely most likely scenario in the couple of uh, next couple of hours would be a further sideways uh, movements consolidation but uh, overall picture is still in the near term is still uh, holding positive tone of course we need to see clearance of uh, 9300 in order to resume the uh, recovery rally from uh, 9080 double ba double bottom uh, lows of uh, 20th of uh, uh, December and the 2nd of uh, January uh, that will allow for some stronger recovery and the refocus our uh, one of our key near-term barriers at 93.81, 7th of December uh, high. Uh, from the other side, the daily structure is still negative, although uh, gaining uh, some uh, uh, momentum uh, with the MACD now approaching the, its uh, uh, midline. Uh, momentum is up and the RSI is up. Uh, so still, we are uh, limited by the main bear trend line of 99.70, and any failure to clear this level uh, could see increased risk of a uh, lower top and uh, uh, fresh uh, weakness uh, as a uh, break below 92.00 would, uh, would confirm this uh, weakness and uh, probably uh, trigger a fresh stretch towards uh, 91.00 and 98 hour key. Uh, support conversely break above uh, trend line resistance currently at 92.81 and uh, uh, 93 as a previous high reinforced by now sideways moving 55 days uh, uh, moving average uh, that also marks 50 percent uh, retracement of the down leg from uh, uh, 95 11 down to 9080 uh, would s would be triggered for some uh, stronger corrective action otherwise again as said the risk uh, uh, remains uh, towards the downside but uh, a quite supportive uh, s uh, tone seen now on the daily chart uh, sees potential uh, for this uh, uh, for this action especially that uh, dollar is uh, uh, gaining a uh, showing a uh, uh, strength against uh, most of its uh, counterparts and uh, from the commodities uh, crude oil as we said uh, remains uh, well supported and the recent uh, rally overnight seen uh, on the positive uh, Chinese data again uh, reattracts the upper uh, uh, boundaries and upper uh, uh, targets at 93.80 93.71 seen so far against yesterday's 93.78 uh, it seems that it's a matter of time when the oil price will uh, break above the recent uh, congestion uh, tops at uh, 93.7080. Uh, after uh, corrective uh, easing, uh, found uh, good support at uh, 91.50. That also marks 200 days moving average, and the subsequent bounce higher now is attacking at the upper uh, uh, boundaries and upper uh, limits of uh, the uh, current uh, rally. A uh, most uh, likely scenario would be break above higher, uh, break above uh, 93.83 as uh, the neg positive tone dominates on the one and the four hour uh, uh, chart studies with immediate uh, target seen at uh, 94 as around figure and 94 at uh, 35, 60, uh, 61.8% Fibonacci retracement of uh, 172 to 84.05 uh, descent. Uh, 
to open way towards uh, 96, 80, 76 point four percent retracement. Uh, before this, we have uh, approximately 94 previous uh, uh, range, uh, previous range floor, and then 96, 80, 76 point four percent retracement. As said, uh, positive uh, tone that favors the upside and uh, looks for a break above the uh, past uh, couple of days uh, congestion top at uh, 9383 that will open initially 94 and the 9435 ahead of uh, uh, 94 is uh, basically is the previous uh, range floor and round figure resistance 9435 uh, 61.8 percent retracement and then uh, we'll be looking for a, a 95 uh, as a round figure resistance and the next uh, upside target so on the downside immediate uh, uh, supports uh, strong support is at uh, approximately 92 9270 uh, zone previous lows of uh, uh, 8 and the 9th of yesterday and the day before uh, lows and there um, this congestion lows uh, a loss of these levels I would say and uh, uh, 9240 could be uh, 9360-9300 could be risky as this uh, uh, would uh, re-attract uh, probably the lower uh, uh, boundaries of the recent range but as said the uh, near-term structure still uh, maintains positive tone and sees potential for a test of the upper uh, uh, limits after upper boundaries and the recent uh, range ceiling at uh, 9380 that will uh, open way for a further uh, recovery and extension of uh, uh, rally from uh, 8405 base and the low of uh, when it was posted exactly of uh, uh, 7th of November and the higher low at uh, 85 uh, 20 and the yellow metal uh, <clears throat> and near term structure is still slightly uh, positive but uh, the price remains uh, congested uh, under 1665 and the 1668 this is approximately 61.8% uh, 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 Fibonacci retracement of the down leg from uh, uh, 1694 to 1625 and this is uh, uh, basically our initial uh, uh, target. In yesterday's uh, comments uh, written analysis I mentioned that uh, uh, gains uh, could extend through <coughs> pardon uh, through 1668-1670 but uh, uh, still uh, uh, more uh, more uh, rally and uh, more work is seen uh, on the upside the 1678 we have the uh, main bear uh, trend line uh, that is a drone of uh, 1752 high and uh, this also marks 76.4 uh, percent retracement and basically only break above uh, at this level would attract uh, a recent uh, peak at 1694 and 1700 as uh, <clears throat> pardon the round figure uh, resistance the four hour uh, structure is uh, uh, turning positive at uh, this point as uh, most of indicators except MACD that's, that is currently attempting to break above the midline uh, the requirement uh, to to uh, regain a minimum 1665 uh, to turn the four hour structure positive we have currently 55 days uh, exponential moving average that uh, uh, keeps the recent uh, gains uh, limited on the hourly chart, uh, a rather neutral uh, tone is still seen as the uh, price action on the hourly moves uh, uh, in the range and the moves uh, sideways with the upper boundary at 1665 and the downside at uh, 1640 break of either side uh, uh, would uh, provide immediate uh, direction for the pair. Uh, I would say still uh, uh, more to see of these sideways movements until the uh, banks uh, releases uh, today that will uh, uh, give some more uh, uh, action in the market and they define the direction of the yellow metal of course and the other currencies and that was all uh, for, for today from my side please uh, any questions and answers uh, you can submit them now
yeah no questions for today okay uh, next time uh, I would like to thank you all for uh, being with us uh, keep an eye today on the uh, releases uh, from the central banks especially on the comments uh, from the ECB president uh, Mario Draghi that is due at 1330 as we said some uh, a more positive uh, tone is expected uh, on today's uh, uh, press conference uh, and uh, we expect to see you again uh, tomorrow in our regular session at 8 o'clock uh, uh, GMT, uh, 10 o'clock uh, local uh, Cyprus time. Until then, I wish you a nice day and uh, very successful and uh, profitable trading. Good luck.